Hi viewers, in this video we are dividing a 4 digit number by a 1 digit number. The 4 digit number is 9028 and dividing this number by 7. Here 7 is the divisor and 9028 is the dividend. For dividing this number we must know the multiplication table of 7. First digit that is 9. The digit which is in the left side is 9. Take the digit 9. How many times 9 goes in the table of 7? Look at the table here. 7 ones are 7. 7 twos are 14. We are considering the digit 9 only. 9 goes how many times completely in 7's table? First one. That means 7 into 1 equal to 7. Therefore, we are writing 1 as in the quotient and 7. That means 7 ones are 7. Next step is subtraction. We will get 2. First step is multiplying. Second step we are subtracting. Now we got 2. Next step is bring down the next digit. The next digit is 0. Therefore we got now 20. Next step is bring down. 0 we wrote down. Now we got the number 20. How many times 20 goes in the table of 7? 7, 2 are 14. 7 3s are 21. But 21 is the greatest number. Therefore, we take the number 14 because we need the number which is equal to 20 or less than or near to 20. Therefore, we will get a 7 2s are 14. Therefore, we have to write 2 in the quotient. 7 into 2 is 14. We are writing 14 down. Next step is subtracting. Now we got 6. Again, next step is bring down the next digit. We are writing 2 here. Now we got 62. Where is 62 in the table of 7? 62. Here we got a 63. Here we got a 56. We need the number less than 62. 62 less than number is 7 into 8 is equal to 56. Therefore, we are writing 8 on the top. 7 into 8 is 56. We are writing 56. Next step is subtracting. We are subtracting. We will get a 6. Again, the next step is bringing down the next digit. Next digit is 8. We are writing 8 down. Now we got the number 68. In the table where is 68? 70 is there, 63 is there. That means 70 is greater than 68. Therefore we are taking 63. How many times 63 in the 7's table? 9 times. Therefore we are writing 9 here. 63 in the down and subtracting 68 minus 63 answer is 5. Here all the numbers are finished. Therefore the quotient is 1289 and the remainder is 5. Next one is 6833 divided by 8. The left most digit that is 6. But 6 is not in the table. 8. 8 ones are 8. 6 is less than 8. Therefore, we are taking the next digit also. The two digit together is 68. How many times 68 goes in 8 stable? Look at where is 68. 68. After 64, we will get a 68. That means 68 is here. It is not 72 is greater than 68. Therefore, we are taking the number which is less than 68, that is 64. 8 eights are 64. 
Therefore, we are writing 8 in the quotient. 8 we are take, writing 8. 8 8 is 64. Writing 64. Next step, second step is subtracting. We will get 4. Next step, bring down. 3 we will write down. Now the number is 43. 43. 40, 48. 48 is greater. 4, 43 is greater than 40. Therefore, we are writing 8, 5, so 40. Next step, subtracting. 3. Next step, bringing down the next digit. That is 3 is the next digit. We are writing 32. 32 is exactly divisible by 8. Therefore, 8, 4, so 32. Writing 4 on the top. 32 subtracting we will get a 1 what is the quotient 8854 is the quotient divisor is 8 reminder is 3 step 8 8854 8854 is 6205 divided by 6 taking the first digit in the left side that is 6 6 ones are 6 subtracting we will get a 0 Bringing down the second digit, 2. 2 is less than 6. That means 2 is not goes in the table of 6. Therefore, we have to put 0 in the quotient. After putting the 0 in the quotient, we have to write down the next digit. How we go out 0 here? 2 is here, but 2 is not going here. Therefore, writing 0 in the quotient. And writing the next digit. Now the number is 20. 20 goes uh, in 3. 6, 3 is uh, 18. So again subtracting. 25. 5 is writing down. 25. To 6, 4 is uh, 24. 6, 5 is uh, 30. 30 is greater. 34 is less than 25. Therefore we are writing 6, 4 is uh, here. 4, 6, 4 is uh, 24. Again, subtracting 1, finish. Therefore, the quotient is 1034 and the remainder is 1. Next and the last question is 1881 divided by 9. Taking the leftmost digit, that is 1. 1 is not go with the 9. Therefore, we are taking the first two digit together the number is 18 in the 9 stable 9 ones are 9 9 twos are 18 therefore we are writing 2 18 9 into 2 is 18 second step is subtracting 0 next one is bringing down the next digit 8 8 is less than 9 therefore it will not go here therefore we are putting 0 in the quotient after putting 0 in the quotient, next step is bring down the next digit. Now we got the digit 81. How many times 81? 9 nines are 81. Therefore, it is exactly go here. Therefore, 9 we are writing. 9 nines are 81. Again, subtracting 0. Then the quotient is 209 and the remainder is 0.